Bandwidth for Wearable Today brought to you by Cashfly. And uh, Wearable Today is also a part of Maker Max. Go over to max.maker.com to learn more. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to another episode of Wearable Today, episode number 83, Game Failed to Start. We've got a great show today. A couple weeks ago, we found out that Android Wear is going to be really tuning and getting that into that iOS thing. You know, these iOS devices and stuff like that. I better turn my phone off, by the way. But we also got some great news. Uh, we're going to talk about HTC. Where the heck is HTC? We're going to talk about uh, other watches that you can use with your iPhone if you don't want to get an iWatch or Apple Watch and go from there. And that's all on this episode of Verable Today. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. You've got Geekazine and we here, we win in Wisconsin. Wearable Today. And as always, my co-host right over here, Mr. Luke Wallace. How you doing, Luke? Doing good tonight, Jeff. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, if you're looking for me, I'm Luke Luca on Twitter. L-U-K-E-L-U-C-A. You can see it down here somewhere. Uh, or you can find me on Google Plus, google.com slash plus Luke Wallace. And as always, Birdie's here. Boom. So say hey to the people, Birdie. Hey to the yeah. people, Birdie. Hi, Birdie. Birdie at today.com. Birdie, Birdie, this is the, yeah, let, me, let me just... Get that right there. Okay. Okay. No, that doesn't no. work. Okay. Oh, no, it doesn't work. All right. Well, let's in the same room. Let's let's start our show off with the thing we do of uh, the best: big news, little arms. <laughs> one dinosaur, one cup. I suppose something like that. Anyway, go for <laughs> Not it. Not as good of a name. Much nah. more awkward. Yeah. Uh, so uh i'm up first right so that's what they think yeah everyone is excited about the newest wearable tech but what happens when you want to get rid of it i don't know i don't know either triple pundit points out that less precious metals are being used that so that makes our current tech more sustainable the end result is usually something that's so finely engineered that you can't just pull it apart to recycle the components they also ask a question we've asked several times. What materials should we be using to make our wearable tech, to make sure our wearable tech doesn't cause us more health problems than they solve? If you want to read more about recyclable wearable tech, you can head over to triplepundant.com. All right. Only one watch for the iPhone. Yeah, not really. Wearable.com has put together a list of 13 alternatives for that Apple Watch. If you don't want to get that uh, the Apple Watch or you have another wearable, you know, you get gifted a wearable and you want to do you, you need it for your iPhone or something like that. Um, from Android Wear to uh, Meta Watch and even a Microsoft band, there's a lot of choices out there, uh, many which retail for less than the Apple Watch. They won't have the full functionality as an Apple Watch with the apps and stuff like that. But... Uh, if you're just looking for something to, to read Twitter statements or or get emails and, and phone call messages and stuff like that, then you might not need all the, the function of the Apple Watch. This might be for you. And that's over at Wearable Today, W-A-R-E-Able.com. Now, HTC has been listed as an Android Wear partner since the platform launched last year and they've said they were going to but they've never yet released an android wear device what i know it's weird but there are some rumors that are developing around a smart watch or there's rumor and this smart watch is also round so it's a round smart watch potentially coming up there's a big event on september 29th so people are thinking you might see something there. Oh, was that it? That's, that's uh, it. <laughs> You're confusing me, man. GSMarena.com if you want to read more about that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on. I, I guess we'll move on from here. We're seeing wearables being updated all of the time. Not some of the time, but all of the time. You're skipping one. That's not Am the I article. Am I skipping one? Oh, I'm sorry. 
whoops, yeah, you're right. Could VR, <laughs> I don't know my own show. What they have? Could VR wearables replace postcards? Marriott is experimenting with a system that could give the users the availability, or the ability, there we go, to visit nearby attractions virtually through a custom Gear VR headset. Um, and, and it basically comes preloaded with local sites. The intention is to allow visitors to see what's nearby and give them some ideas of places to visit or at least give them some exposure to the local sights and sounds. Now, right now, uh, only the locations you can virtually visit are China, Chile, and Rwanda. Or Chile, China, Rwanda. I think that's a location. If popular, this could become a common occurrence at many Marriott locations worldwide. That's where I stayed in San Francisco was a Marriott location. That would have been cool oh. to do that virtual. So, but more information that's over at ibtimes.co.uk. And finally, we're seeing wearables that are being updated all the time, but usually that happens with a hardware change. However, Jawbone is bucking that trend by releasing some software updates for their popular up devices. And they aren't just minor bug fixes either. The up three and up four will start tracking passive heart rate throughout the day. And all devices starting with the up two will now automatically track your sleep. Of course, you can ask Jawbone for a new piece of hardware so you can get the latest software update. But I think it's pretty neat that Jawbone is saying to up yours instead. Did you plan that? Did you write that? <laughs> the, the up yours? That yeah. What? No. Okay. Phrasing. Phrasing. Okay. You're you're okay. Let's move on. Let's update move. Update your software. You can you can get the software updated. Yeah. You can just update up yours. yours. Up Just yours. Up your software. Okay. Up yours, up they yours. said. Up yours. Okay. How's that software? Up yours. Up yours. Yeah, sure. Why yeah. not? Why not? Update. Update yours. You know, up the revision. All right, let's move on to the next segment. It is called Fund Me. Check this out. It's called Tribble. It's a wearable device. With awesome features. And and I'm not just saying that, you know, just not because that's the line right there, but because it's a Tribble. I mean, who doesn't want a Tribble? Who doesn't want a uh, anything like that? I don't know. So, um, but anyway, uh, Tribble is, uh, where is it? Uh, it's a new portable wearable device. Records video 24-7, controls your music. It answers your phone calls, sticks on the wall, anywhere you want. It's like one of those little tap lights without the tap. You know. Anyway, uh, it's an amazing device that charges via wireless charging station. It has a GPS on it, so you can even uh, use a tracker for your luggage. And right now, you can back the project, get a 16-gigabyte version for $129. Not too shabby. 64-gigabyte uh, version for $149. And 128 gigabytes for $169. So, um, Luke, what's what's your thoughts on this? Uh, it looks like a pretty decent uh, 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 wearable. <laughs> Tribble. It's a Tribble. It, Come on. It's a, yeah. It's a Tribble. I, I love the name. Uh, I believe there was always some trouble. With the Tribble? With Tribbles mm -hmm. uh, but in most of the places that I've heard about them. So, kind of interesting. Um, I guess what I'm thinking is... It sounds too good to be true. This thing really does sound amazing. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a Nest with, you know, a nice touch screen on it. The Nest doesn't even have a touch screen. Oh, and yeah, you're right. It's wired into your wall for power. This thing is not. This thing, they say, just, just stick it anywhere, and then you can charge it on its base station in an hour, and then it'll last for up to four weeks, but it records video to the cloud, and... I'm like, this sounds really, really good, but I don't, I don't really know if, if it's something that would be as good as they make it sound. Um, the GPS tracking seems interesting. It's got a little speaker in it, so I guess you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker or something like that uh, for phone calls. So um, it, it seems kind of like maybe a, an Alexa or something like that that Amazon is selling, yeah. but like portable where you just kind of set it wherever or stick it on the wall or um it's kind of it's kind of interesting what they're 
what they're pushing there. And it sounds cool, but I just, I don't know. It no. sounds really too good to be true. Just like it's only like it costs half as much as a nest, but it's wireless. Yeah. But, and, but you're, 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 you're attributing it like a nest, but it's not a nest. I mean, a nest, no, no, no. a nest is, is a thermostat. Um, mm-hmm. It's a, it, um, and, and of course the nest system, you have the thermostat and then you have the carbon monoxide tester. Um, smoke detector, whatever that thing is. Um, yeah. But the whole point is that it, it, it's it's meant to uh, it's meant to turn on the uh, it's meant to turn on your your heat. It's meant to turn on your air conditioning, mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. needs to be wired because you know ninety nine percent of homes that well, yeah. that device right there actually is hardwired into the house. So yeah. instead of ripping that out, and, and eventually we're gonna we're gonna do away with that wire, and you're just gonna have the the main nest unit down by the furnace um or or well and and of course it also depends because like in in my house the furnace is on this side of the house and the central air is on this side of the house so there's no good merging place um but you know the nest could still be in the basement and then you just call up your phone you won't have that that wart on the wall um with the wires but there still needs to be hardwired somewhere so it'll turn on the first turn on the on the air conditioning this is more of just this hockey puck looking thing that you can you can wear as a as a body camera you can put it by Mm -hmm. your door you can uh, put it by your window it's got night finish vision on it so you could have you know you could poise it up on the on the dresser so there people are watching you while you sleep I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, Jennifer Ringley all over again. I suppose. Yeah, I, I guess I wonder about how long or how much video can it actually record. It must be just taking periodic photos, and then if it detects motion, then it kind of turns on a a full screen video. But because I don't see how it could possibly be recording video all day long on on a battery like that it's just it's not big enough well but, it's it's um, does, it's it's got some way to charge it though right yeah it does have a little wireless charging dock that you like set it on and it charges like so many of the watches and uh the little sphero balls and stuff like that they all have these little kind of docks that they set on yeah and so that's what they show for it as well okay um, so I, I i believe that that all works i guess i just I would be afraid to like just put it on your wall and just leave it there all the time as like a security camera. It's like, wouldn't you have to charge that? Well, if it's a, if it's on, or... if it's a, if there's a base to it, yeah, you, you could you could be charging it while going. And of course, the 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 memory on it, you really don't need memory on one of those uh, those cameras because it, if you got a a decent Wi-Fi signal, you could instantly you could have this uh, streaming to to some server somewhere. And that that yeah. taking care of it, so I don't see you know yeah it's good to have the 128 gigabyte mi- model just in case you know uh, the power goes out you know if the, yeah. if, the, if the burglars decide to uh, clip the power then at least you have uh, then at least you have their whole whole recording of what happened um, I don't know if if they do that anymore or not but uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm guessing sometimes they do uh, but uh, you know it's it's just there's ways around it and 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 we have we don't see the full picture here but yeah. i'm guessing that the, you know they they're addressing these issues because they're they want to sell you a family pack they want to give everybody in your family a tribble yeah. and it's they, like a little like personal assistant it's it's exactly. really an interesting idea and you know the more i think about it if they just had uh and maybe they do that little charging dock if they just had a wall mount on the back of it you know the little yeah a hole so that you put a screw in the wall and then you hang that thing on the wall and then it runs the cord down and plugs in so you could kind of permanently attach it in one place like this is where i'm going to leave it and then i'll take it with me during the day and use it or or i'll leave it there as a security camera um if they had if they had shown that it probably would be like like that's pretty good um since they didn't like i had to kind of work that out myself but yeah, if you could just hang that thing on the wall and that could be the charging station for it is on the wall where I want it. Like, actually, that's a pretty good deal. Like, like you said, you really don't need that much storage because most of this is going to be uploaded to the cloud anyway. Yeah. Um, but they haven't released pricing of, are they going to be charging for that cloud? Is it going to be one of those things? Oh yeah, the device is only 129 and 20 bucks a month. So you can access the video from anywhere. And it's like, yeah. okay, well now all of a sudden it's really expensive. 
um, per year. All right. Well, here it is. So, yeah, I, I, I just found it here. Let's let's look at this. Um, what's in the box? You get one triple, one magnetic base. So it's a it's some sort of chi charging. Uh, system. Probably. And uh, and and of course the cable. And it it's got right here. It's got a lithium battery. So um, and I don't know if that's a changeable lithium battery or or whatnot. Uh, but you got touch display, um, motion sensor, microphone, and speaker. So it does have. It's got a charging base. Yeah. Um. And and so that's. I guess that's how people would uh, use it. Now I don't know if the charging base li has to lie flat. If it's on a uh, tilt stand or something like that. If you can put it on a wall or anything like that. If that's the case, then that would be uh, that would be pretty cool. But you know, it's just this. Uh, you you uh, you charge it, you wear it, you take it with you, um, you bring it back, you throw it in your luggage uh, for that eight hour flight, and then you know where your luggage is, and then uh, and then you come home and you check on Dropbox to see what uh, what video was recorded, see who what TSA agents rooted through your underwear or something like that. Now that would be interesting if you could leave it in your bag like that, so that if they opened it you would have video of, you know, whatever they did, or, you know, you put it on, you, you stick it to the inside of your luggage underneath. So that way when they open it, it's seeing like the, all the stuff in your bag. Yep. And now all of a sudden they open your bag and you see them rifling through there. No, they take something out and they, you know, go off with it. You're like, well, I got video that you, uh, you took my stuff. So uh, you took my of, weed, man. You took my weed. And I got video on it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'd be, so kind of interesting. Uh, they also talk about some business uses for it that sound. sound oh, yeah. Cool. This, is, this is one that depending on how they do it, depending on how they um, like if it integrates with other things or. Oh, they have they have a ton of stuff uh, in here. They got one no, part where it's like pass by and, and your phone will get alerted that there's a 24 hour sale on women's shoes. Not that yeah. I don't care about. Maybe I yeah. So it does have a beacon in it as Something well. Like that, yeah, a, a Bluetooth LE. So uh, and then in it, maybe yeah. And then of course uh, it's also got this. Uh, it talks back to you, so you could actually, you know, if you're if you're a business, you could sit there and and you could have that on the door, and every time somebody walked through the door, they could it, the thing could yell Norm, and then go from yeah. there. So it's very possible but uh i don't see that full functionality it's it's a nice little idea the bigger problem is the name and i have a feeling that they're, they're going to get into some legal issues on yeah that little name that, that could that could get tricky very tricky uh, so they could have some trouble with the triple triples <laughs> as a product birdie, birdie didn't even like that joke he's, she's like okay yeah, okay like, I'm I'm, I'm done. where's that can i gone so all right well that's over on indiegogo.com it's a it's a pretty cool idea it's it's wearable it's wearable it's non-wearable and you know you find a lot of stuff like that so but uh pretty cool stuff that's on the fun me section let's move on let's go over to your favorite part apple watch watch all right well, you know, uh, the big the big event happened uh, this last uh, uh, what was it last Wednesday, and everybody was you know everybody's going with the new uh, iPhone with the 3D effects and the pen and the blah 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 blah, um, fifty thousand inch iPad or whatever it is, and but the one thing that they're talking about is the Watch OS two. There is no new, and we we, we need to we need to stress this. There is no new watch coming out as of yet. There's only different colors of the watch coming out. Mm. Um, however, what they are coming out with is Watch OS 2 launching on September 16th. Um, and uh, it's uh, that's actually that's two days from now. Unless you're watching this two days from now, then it's today. So and if, if you're watching a day after, then it's the day before. It's crazy, but, you know, the whole idea is um, if you've got an Apple Watch, you can update it at that point. Um, it's allowing native apps to run on the watch, which is something that a lot of people have asked for. Uh, better compli complications? Mm-hmm. Uh, with those That's little... Term. Okay. Oh, yeah, the complications. Yeah, you're right. Uh, little dashboard components you see on the watch faces and a lot more watch faces and uh, a lot more functionality, especially with that uh, crown dial. Um, which a lot of developers have asked to get that functionality in there. So, uh, but there's going to be no camera. 
There's going to be no camera. There's going to be no camera on the, the Apple Watch. Sorry, guys. So, but uh, pretty cool stuff. I, I, uh, are you, have you guys been testing the OS2 at all over at, uh, over at Bottle Rocket? Uh, yes, I think we've been looking at stuff on there. Uh, there's definitely, um, like you said, there's a lot more functionality, a lot of really interesting things that you can do with it. Um, probably can't talk about any details, but honestly, I don't, I don't work on that side of the house too much. And so, uh, yeah, haven't been, haven't been hearing everything they're working on. So. Oh yeah. No, I'm not talking about, uh, apps inside of there. I'm just saying, what are the, what are the thoughts for the OS? Oh, oh, the way, yeah. Everybody, everybody loves the idea of all the stuff they're adding in OS to Apple, Apple watch, Apple, watch OS to, uh, all that, all that, uh, cool stuff. Like you said, the native apps, yeah, the digital crown. Um, yeah, very, very exciting. And yeah, that's what developers really wanted from the beginning, but, uh, you know, Apple probably wasn't ready to do that. They hadn't finalized the APIs. They weren't sure if they actually even wanted to open that up for people to be able to use. So, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's time and it's probably fully baked now. So that that's really the whole, whole idea. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, it, it's it's we'll we'll see what happens. We'll see if uh, if people start buying the Apple Watch more. If uh, if they're going to be interested in it, um, I we you know we've talked about other watches already that you can get for your iPhone. You don't need to have the Apple Watch. You can still get a smart device and use it with your iPhone. Mm-hmm. And uh, even with the with the new Moto Two, right? Uh, that's the you'll be able to uh, start doing that on iOS nine. And in fact, I've I've uh, beta. I got the beta on iOS nine on my phone. Um, it's in beta release candidate one now, I believe. It just updated over the weekend, so they're it's getting ready. It's getting ready. It's looking good. I I mean I don't have the three D options that because you know I don't have a six S or six X plus or six S triple s xl plus i just have a small yeah anyway um but uh any any other thoughts on os2 just yet or no i i think that you're just gonna see a lot better apps come out um a lot more usable uh like those those little complications uh could be interesting to see you know how people tie into that as far as future calendar events and and uh yeah a lot of that a lot of that stuff could be really nice. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And and of course, with the new iPhone, um, which is supposed to be four times faster than the iPhone that I have right now, we'll see what happens. We'll That's see what, what they happens. say. So, so, will we be will we be playing games on the thing? I don't know. We'll see. So probably not on the watch, but all right, you could in theory. In theory, you could yeah. Well, be basic games. I, I you know I bet you I could play something like Clash of Clans on that but not you know like a a gran turismo or something like that yeah yeah all right well that does it for our segment big news little arms it's waiting for the yeah well you know you might see that a little bit later than what i say so if you hear me say big news little alarms just move on so just do the roar yeah Yeah. hey look at me look at me look at me there you go how's it going luke it's going good it's going good tonight jeff how are you doing i'm doing good you got a pretty big head (laughs) i think it's just perspective (laughs) yeah it is perspective we we were we were joking on that earlier (laughs) he's going my head's so big it's like no no so I, I just did this. I go, you want to see a big, here's a big head right here. And these are big eyes. And this is a big nose. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so um, we had a couple weeks off. And yes. uh, yeah, uh, uh, part of it was planned. Part of it was not planned. Um, as you know, a couple weeks ago, I went to San Francisco for vir- uh, VMware or VM World, excuse me, and uh, it was a lot of fun um, on Monday. And then I wasn't doing too hot. And then come Thursday, I was flying back and I wasn't doing too well. And then on Friday, I went to the ER, and the doctor said I wasn't doing too well. So it was not a it was not a fun time. Let's just put it this way: my blood pressure kind of shot through the roof. 
um, because I've been having some leg pain uh, in okay. the last couple months. And But now it's all under control, so don't worry. I'll, I'm not going to die today, tomorrow. This is a different story. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically what happened. And of course we had the holiday weekend and it's just like, you know, since I kind of was in hospital for 24 hours in my holiday weekend, uh, we might as well just, uh, I'm, I, we need, I need to take it easy at least. So Luke, you, you could have done the show, but you know, you're just lazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just lazy. Just lazy. So I just, I just don't think it's as good of a show if you're not involved. So, so. uh, yeah, I don't want to try to do it on my own. Yeah, what did you do this uh, this last couple of weeks? So, uh, you know, the usual for me, it seems like um, stuff around the house. You know, fixing things up for uh, you know things have started to cool off here in Texas a little bit. So yeah, it's eighty um, degrees. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's eighty degrees, and it feels amazing uh, <laughs> because it's it's been it's been really hot this summer. Um, uh, anyway, so <laughs> did some stuff around the house. Also been working towards uh, Halloween. I got costume stuff to do. Uh, been been working on several different projects for that. Uh, lots of experimenting, trying to get some paint processes figured out. Uh, there's uh, also, uh, if people are interested, I even put some stuff up on my YouTube channel about how to paint 3D printed objects. So I'll do a little... Uh, plug for that um how to paint 3d printed objects parts one through four you can find me on youtube uh my username there is luke luca two um i think i had luke luca and then somehow i got locked out and google wouldn't let me get it again so i don't really know why so it's luke luca two on <laughs> on youtube yeah um so you can you can find some of those videos there um, i am making videos of my um, my uh, Halloween costume, but I'm not publishing those on YouTube just yet. So those will go up after Halloween. Um, and as I get more of the steps done, uh, I also have a review of my garage door opener uh, that I shot because I think it's actually really good. And so other people might be looking for it. Well, yeah, it's, it's got, it's got the uh, iPhone uh, hookup to it. That's, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, yeah, it uh, supports uh, iPhone and Android uh, apps to do it, and I've actually used that feature a lot. Um, so very, very cool. cool. Um, other than that, uh, not not a whole lot. Trying to trying to just get ready for the fall. Got some vacation coming up, and yep. Um, Which yeah. uh, we might as well say right now. Uh, we're going to uh, next week. We're not going to have yeah. What next week? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah, week, uh, right. next week we might not have a show, because um, yeah. you know I'm lazy, and then uh, and then we'll be back on the 28th. So you know it's a week on week off. And of course, uh, with wearable news, it, it it can be touch and go, and and uh, so we might have it might be a lull. It might be a good thing. So we'll see what happens. And if yeah. there's if there's pressing news, it's just got to be talked about. Then I'll get on the camera, and I'll, and, and I'll do it myself because I can do these things. You can't. So. No, sorry, I can't. So, all right. Well, with that said, let's uh, let's move on here. You know, uh, as you know, we've got uh, we've got some uh, we've got some new sponsors. We've got some uh, new people helping us. First of all, I want to say wearabletoday.com forward slash deals. Let's get that up here. Where is that? Uh, that is wearabletoday.com forward slash deals. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry. You can point to it. No, that's okay. Point to oh, it. That's Point right. to it. Right Over there. Here there somewhere, I think. Wearabletoday.com forward slash deals, and of course uh, that that takes you to the uh, that takes you to the uh, Amazon page where you can get some great deals uh, like this Chitronic newest magnet smart ring universal for eighteen dollars. Oh. Eighteen seventeen oh nine. That's not bad. What you know, in the world? These Dubs acoustics. That's crazy. No, this is. Uh, I love. I I swear by these Dubs. Um, I went out to the gun range. Uh, if you if you if you follow me, I I did some vi I did some video shoot at a gun range, so I shot people shooting. That's how it is. Uh -oh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it it was pretty cool. I mean, you know, they had a competition. They wanted me to come out there and take some video, you know, to put up on their uh, put up on their uh, their web page. So I uh, I did that. I I did a four four camera shoot, um, and 
videos up on my YouTube page. You can check it out uh, at the Wanaki Gun Club. But the whole point is that uh, I wore the dubs for my ear protection because they have they have this ability to actually uh, kill the sound and still hear things around. So I could still talk to the people around me while people were shooting guns. And wow. uh, I use these. I use the dubs for mowing my lawn. I use them for uh, any type of isolation where I need to hear what's here but not here. I haven't used them in a in a rock concert setting yet, which is interesting because you know I'm a rock concert kind of guy. But uh, I think these are great. Uh, I've I've been using them left and right. But anyway, you know the Moto 360, 118 dollars for this Moto 360. Yeah, it's the first version. But if you're just looking for a watch, watch. That hooks up to your phone. There it is, right there. Black leather. Yeah. That's the one you have, right? Oh yeah, that's the one I'm wearing right one now. You're, you're currently wearing right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you paid so, more than 118 dollars for that. Uh, not exactly, because this was the this oh, was the one they gave out at uh, Google I/O. But that's not out. that's technically not yours. I suppose technically not. Um, so. It would belong to my employer. Yeah. Uh, but they, somebody else donated theirs, so we have some. I suppose it's one that yes, I would give up if if, if I needed, needed to. Yeah. But uh, he's also yeah. got a whole bunch of pencils and paper clips. Don't worry about this. <laughs> so. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. wearabletoday.com forward slash deals on that. You can check that out. And of course, it supports the show. So thank you very much for that. All right. Uh, of course, we also have our friends over at Cashfly uh, that do the non-YouTube RSS iTunes bandwidth. So in order to, for you to watch this show um, off of YouTube on a regular iTunes feeder through the podcast app or something like that, we need to have an off-site video uh, repository. That's where Cashfly comes in. Uh, they can do uh, things. So they hold your podcasts, the audio or video. Um, they can also uh, they can also do uh, IPTV and some live streaming stuff. They got some great plans. Check it out over at Cashfly.com. C a c h e f l y dot com. And if you think of cash, think of Cashfly. If you think of uh, podcast, think of Cashfly. So, and of course, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, we uh, became a proud partner of Maker Max, Max Studios uh, for YouTube. And what that basically means is that uh, you still see it as the same YouTube page, but we're now affiliated with a network. Uh, so our content can get, uh, can get moved off to other areas without us having to upload it here, there, and everywhere. It's like, for instance, uh, you might see us start seeing us on Daily Motion which is a great place for videos. Um, and, the, you know, the Sling app, uh, where the, you can watch TV on your app or on your TV or on your uh, over-the-top television, um, there's a Maker channel, and our program can start showing up in the Maker channel. Simple as that. And that's how it works. So, uh, you know, that's how, that's how it supports the show, and, and we go back and we've got this group of people that are working hard so we can give you the content without having issues like, you know, people not paying us or or monetization issues and stuff like that. Stuff that you don't need to worry about. So, just want to watch the show and watch my head bobble like this? Then there you go. And that's over at uh, Maker Max. We have, uh, and it's, uh, of course, a proud, uh, proud parent or child of Disney. So, yes, we are a Disney property. Isn't that cool? You're Disney I think property. that is. That's you're, pretty cool. You're part of Disney. So... But anyway, so that's over at Maker Max. Thanks a lot for uh, Cashfly and Maker Max to be the parts of our show um, where we're growing. And we've got uh, we've got cool tech, and we you know we're we're ready to share it with them wherever that we go. So, all right, and uh, of course you can always support the show by uh, PayPal, and uh, I think it's PayPal.me forward slash. Oh, I forgot it already. Jeff Powers. It's Jeffrey. No, Jeff Powers. That's uh that's how you can uh you can just do a straight up PayPal geekazine at gmail dot com. You can always send a PayPal that way, and uh and uh we appreciate the donations. Thank you very much. So, uh, anything else we need to do? Blah 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 blah. blah. No, that's pretty much it. Let's get into the focus for this week. Unless you got something to say. No, I think that's great. It's great having sponsors. Great having uh, the support like that, and welcome anybody who's watching via. Uh, Maker Max or any of those other channels did, that we were. Did you just uh, do this? Yeah. No. 
Okay. I thought that you did. But I can do that. Okay. Please live long and prosper wrong, while you're out there. Wrong franchise, uh, by the way. And yeah, tweet us. Let us know where you're watching this from. I'd, I'd love to um, hear, hear where you're watching this and uh, let us know what you want to see more of on the show. More of Luke, less of me, probably. So. Uh, I don't know about that. More, more of Birdie. Usually. More Birdie. We got to have Birdie, Birdie dance. It's a Birdie, birdie, it's a birdie dance. Oh, it birdie. is a Birdie dance. It is a Birdie, 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 Birdie dance. It, and that's not me. It's a Birdie dance. That take the Birdie dance to do the Birdie, 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 Birdie. What are you doing? <laughs> birdie you dance. Doing? <laughs> okay. So that was the Birdie dance kind of. By the spite the hand of the the person that feeds you. All right, let's get into Literally. the let's get into the main focus. Um, over at Ars Technica, uh, well, of course, the big thing, and we knew this was coming, and we talked about it coming, and, and it came, and now it's here. Um, and that is Android Wear on iOS. Uh, even though it, it's a first version, we'll, we'll just throw it out mm-hmm. there. It's a first version of the iOS experience. It's not going to be the best thing since sliced bread on the first version. Never is. So, once again, if you're looking for a watch, an inexpensive watch that can work on your iPhone, Android Wear is working on getting a version. Just like with the fact that uh, iTunes has been announced for, was it Linux or was it for Android devices? What Apple Watch? Yeah, or? No, no. They they, uh, they said that iTunes is now going to be available on I believe Android devices. Yeah, they're gonna make. I think it's not iTunes. It's Apple Music, which is maybe what iTunes is becoming now. Yeah, but I think that's what they said. Is Apple Music is coming to Android, so you'll be able to listen to the Apple Station that they make and a bunch of the other stuff. You basically be able to subscribe and listen yeah. to your music through Apple or. Yeah. Listen to Apple Music through your Android device, which, uh, which that is actually a pretty big deal for yeah to think that anyone uh, will be making a Android app at Apple uh, is pretty cool. Yeah, totally agree, and it's gonna suck. So, you know, I don't, I don't. <laughs> the ratings are not going to be very no, good. Look Spoiler: at, look, look at, okay. uh, one point one stars. Uh, uh, we'll just say so. So this is horrible. I don't want this. One star. When I go to the gym. I go to the gym. I call up my Google Music, and mm-hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad that the Google Music's on my iPhone, because if I had to rely on my on iTunes, and I have a lot of songs on iTunes, because that's where I started many years ago, sure. like most of us. Um, I w- you know if I would have to use iTunes, I'd go insane. But you know, with with uh, Google Music, it's got this playlist. It's like saying, okay, it's a wake up playlist, a go to the gym playlist, you know, fall asleep playlist, whatever fall playlist you choose. I choose the fall asleep because that's perfect for a workout, and uh, it just uh, I you know it, it's there when I need mm-hmm. it. Whereas iTunes is just like I I I don't even know where it is on my phone. I really don't. So, mm-hmm. but anyway, we're not talking about that. The whole point about this is the fact that now. Android Wear is moving over to the iPhone, um, which, you know, you might even get an iPhone because of this, right? I don't know if this would be the tipping point uh, to get me on iPhone, but it's definitely interesting that, you know, you could have an iPhone and say, I like the round watches, and so I don't really need a lot of functionality, so just a little bit would be fine, and... I have an iPhone, like, like I can see people doing that because I just think that, um, yeah, I think that the round watches are like, I was really surprised when Apple didn't make them, like yeah. make theirs round. And, and I, and I think that people are going to want that round face. I mean, we've seen a huge, huge demand for it on the Android side. Like so many people like the round faces over the square faces um, just because it's different and it feels like more like a watch and doesn't look as, you know, weird or, you know, doesn't look like a square watch, which there are lots of fashionable square watches, but I think it's just, there was no option before. So there might be people that, that will do this. Yeah, that's true. You know, now you mention it, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to go back in history. I mean, you had the, anything that was square was kind of nerdy. It was a calculator watch 
or a reputer mm-hmm. or a Transformers GoBots watch, and I had a couple mm-hmm. of those. And uh, yeah, it was no, any anything that was round was an actual an Iron Man watch, a uh, Swiss, uh, even even the swatches, they were all mm-hmm. round. So I'm I'm wondering, yeah, is that it, does that really play tricks on the mind? It's like a square watch is not a watch. Um, uh, the old okay, now I'm thinking about the older watches. Uh, there were some uh, the older watches that were square. Um, ladies' watches were square, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so th- there were a few of them. But I'm wondering if a lot of people just don't associate a square watch with a quality watch. Yeah, and and I'm not saying that there aren't. There are lots of very high quality square watches. I did a quick search for square Rolex, and there's a lot of square Rolex watches, or at least pictures of watches that claim to be. Square Rolex watches. Um, it's hip so to be square. I'm not saying you can't have a nice, a very, very nice watch that is square, but most people, like, especially when it comes to like a screen, like a computer screen. Yeah. Like everyone's used to square screens, right? Your laptop screen is square. Your TV is, you know, square or rectangular, you know. Uh, sharp yeah. corners and everything yeah um your phone the screen is a, a rectangle so a rectangular screen on a watch is like eh, you know I, I understand kind of how they did that a round one though like people are just like how do you even make a round <laughs> screen you know like it's just you know people are just kind of amazed by that and it's just it looks so much different than all the other screens that you interact with yeah that's true so, so i think that there's that kind of novelty to it of like, it looks may, maybe, I don't know if nicer is the right word, yeah. but it definitely looks different than a lot of other devices that you look at. So uh, maybe it has something to do with that. It, it, it's hard to tell. Like I'm not a psych, psychologist or a psychiatrist. Uh, so I, I don't think I understand it fully, but it'd yeah, be kind okay. of interesting. Well, you know, and it's like uh, uh, the company uh, Atlas Wearable, it, their 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 uh, wearable technology, which uh, counts reps as opposed to uh, anything else, uh, or in laps and stuff like that, um, mm-hmm. it's it's not only rectangular. It's it's an, it's a it's a weird rectangular. So, ha- you know, like most of the rectangle is on the right side, so the band is on the left side. Technically, um, it, it's hard to explain. You have to see it to to understand mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. But the the whole point is, it's not. It's not round. It's not square, and it's oddly shaped. And of course, but of course, that's because you're only wearing it while you're working out, anyway. So, mm-hmm. um, but you're, you're also right. I mean, I bet you, uh, even five years ago, we didn't have the technology to make a round, uh, round faced watch. And I don't want, and I and I don't want a circular iPhone, and I don't want a circular uh, TV. Um, and even we, we've, I've even seen, I know there's a couple movies out there where they show a circular TV with a, with video and it's just like a lot of waste of uh, space. So, um, uh, totally understandable, but, uh, uh, interesting stuff. And and we're going off on tangent on the, uh, on the rectangular, as opposed to the, the whole idea of the Android wear, uh, being able to work pretty well. You know, it's not a hundred percent. It's like, uh, let's say just like this. When it comes to uh, working with uh, with iPhone, but yeah, once again, if you're not if you're not interested in playing the games on and uh, and using the bigger apps, you just want the text messages and the emails and stuff like that. And it's and it's also perfect for those of the people that want to uh, want to use this uh, you know, present. You know, guess what? Christmas is coming up. Yeah, holiday season in full gear. I went to Big Lots today to to price out my tree. So. Uh, you know, it, people are going to buy it, stuff like that, and that might become, you know, that uh, people were thinking maybe that fifty dollar tablet uh, that they're coming out with might be the uh, stocking stuffer of the year. But uh, what if what if we can get a hundred dollar watch that can hook up to iOS or Android? Will mm-hmm. that become the stop? And, and maybe even beat out that BB eight because you know we both don't have the BB eight, and no. uh, which kind of sucks. But what can you do? <laughs> Yeah, I've got some other things that I probably should get instead. Yeah. But yeah, I want to. I definitely want to touch on and say yes, it is not. Um, it is not as fully functional on iOS as it is on Android. 
I think that's understandable to most people uh, because you can't, you know, like Apple's going to limit that deep integration to third party watches. Like the Pebble doesn't have that deep integration. It's not like they're excluding Android in any sort of specific way, but Google hasn't built out all of their services on iOS to integrate with Android Wear on iOS, yeah. which they basically would have to kind of funnel through this one app, this Android Wear app on iOS that then talks to the watch. And so as long as everything's funneling through that one app, uh, it'll work pretty well. So they give the example of Hangouts, uh, Google's instant messaging uh, uh, product. They they show really good integration with that. You can you know see the messages coming in, reply to them with voice, do all of the cool stuff that uh, you can do on Android. But that's because they've integrated Hangouts with the Android Wear app on iOS. Uh, they haven't yet done that with apps or uh, what was some of the other stuff. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. They, they mentioned maps. Uh, oh, yeah, like you can't buy things because on Android, you uh, can buy these watch faces through the Play Store. But yeah. on iOS, you can't buy things from the Play Store because it's iOS and you have to buy it from the App Store. And they haven't yet released an SDK or something that'll let you download an iOS app that has an Android Wear watch face in it. I'm guessing it's technically possible, yeah. um, but it's probably either not going to be allowed by Apple or something. Like It may be a while before we see anything like that. So uh, I, w- I wouldn't hold your breath. But in theory, a lot of the other Google apps, I think Google Maps is a great option like navigation and be awesome if people could use that more google now integration i think that there's there's a lot of potential there um so it is definitely more limiting but you do get all your standard notifications uh, and you do get a few benefits like um, hangouts being being on there so if you use hangouts a lot uh you can at least use that on and your android wear device with your iphone so there, it, it has some potential, uh, but uh, there, there's definitely a lot more uh, that they could do. And they're probably going to see, you know, how many users downloaded and they're going to do like a lot of other things and yeah. kind of say, well, let's like, we'll spend time on it if people are using it. If, if nobody downloads it, nobody tries it, then they may not, they may not put more, much more work into it. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing people will use it. Uh, you know, well, like I said, you know, you're going to get, I bet you... This holiday season, there's going to be somebody that gets a, a, a watch that doesn't, that's technically not supposed to work with their phone. And having that crossover is just that important that you can do that. So um, I, I think that uh, that is, and, and there, of course, there's one other thing you didn't mention that is some people think is important, uh, and that mm-hmm. is the A versus the wallet. Once again, just like Google Play and Apple Store, they don't work together. So mm-hmm. um, you won't be able yeah. to buy something using your watch. You'll have to pull out your phone, just like the old days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like, wait, when they only introduced that on the phone, like, a, a year ago? Mm-hmm. Two years ago? Like, my my bank's card finally got uh, Apple paid, um, so I got it on my phone. I just still mm-hmm. don't have know how to use it yet. <laughs> yeah, so they haven't had that functionality too long, so yeah. yes... <laughs> Again, another another limitation. Like it doesn't have the, or at least the the current Android Wear devices don't have NFC built in, and so there's no integration with Apple Pay. Certainly, uh, unless Apple decides to put Apple Pay on Android Wear, uh, maybe they could do it. Uh, oh, they'll or, they'll they'll eventually be some sort of cross thing uh, to do it, but we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, it's. Yeah. It's it's all first gen. We're we're oh, yeah. we're technically yeah. in in the when it comes to watch OS, we're in first gen mode, and uh, it doesn't matter if you've got something that was made five years ago or something made to, because yeah, there were wearables five years ago. There were definitely wearables ten, fifteen years ago, um, but we're still in first gen infancy when it comes yeah. to wearable tech. Uh, when it comes to watches, so we'll we'll see what happens and. Mm-hmm. And somebody might even, uh, and we'll, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll see an app or two out there that get 
pass through Apple and, and Android to do the crossover, and then they'll get uh, taken out of the uh, stores because they don't want that to happen. So, if it, you know, it, I'm, we're just basically rinse and repeat mode right now. We just don't know what the, what, what the end result's going to be. So Hard to say. Hard to Hard say. To say. But uh, if you want to read more on that, we've got the article. It's over at Ars Technica. We'll have all the show notes, so you can just go over there and say, hey, there's the links. Let's just look there. Over at wearabletoday.com. Because that's where you should go anyway. So, Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. So, Luke, what's your plans for uh, this week? Uh, Going to be packing up soon. Got to gotta get ready for our trip that we're going on here uh, over the weekend. But okay. uh, not a whole lot. You mm-hmm. know... You know what I'd love is I'd really love for some people to tweet me at Luke Luca or email me, Luke at wearabletoday.com. Yeah. What about Birdie? Or you can email Birdie. Birdie at wearable. That's B I R D I E at wearabletoday.com. Birdie. Or you can find me on Google Plus, google.com slash plus Luke Wallace, or on YouTube, Luke Luca 2. Electric Boogaloo. So. Mm hmm. I, I like it. Birdie was just like gnawing at your finger and you said, Birdie, yeah, and she's like, what? Uh-huh. That was me? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got stuff on your hands, I guess. There you go. And of course, you can find me over at Geekazine. I, I'm a little bit, let me, let me, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, you can find me over at Geekazine, uh, anything, just Geekazine. You know, Think Magazine, put in a geek, you're, 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 you got me. What do you need? What's, see, Geekazine right here. So, um, I hope you like the new format. We've uh, I've made some tweaks. We're not doing the live show as of yet because my uh, the bandwidth at the house does not support it. And maybe someday we'll get Google Fiber in the in the city or something like that, or FiOS or something faster. But uh, right now, um, we're going to produce. We're going to work on making the shows look a little bit better and doing things like this two screen thing right here where I can kind of talk to Luke and Luke can kind of talk to me and I can just, you know, back and forth. And uh, if you have any ideas of things that we can add to the show, uh, please let us know. And you know, if you want to be a part of the show, let us know and we'll, we'll try and get you on if you, uh, as a guest or something like that, go from there. So Luke, yeah. thank you very much for your time. Uh, as always, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Sounds good. Look at me. I'm right over here. I'm here. My eyes are here. There you go. All right. There you go. I got Birdie now. Give me. Oh, we tried that already, didn't we? Uh, Darn. Didn't work. Uh, almost. 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 Next time. Next time. So, all the fake Birdie at hand. Well, fine. Let's see what happens. Anyway, that's it for Wearable <laughs> today. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you next week. You guys geek out and uh, take care. Have a fun little week and get yourself a birdie. Bye. Bye Bye-bye, birdie.